So, you've come back to For Honor, spending yet another day molding your sanity away, versing toxic duelists, <laughs> and watching cutscenes of your character dying in a gank. <laughs> you feel a sudden urge inside of you to do everything in your power to keep every single asshole away from you. And what better way to do it than to deliver plenty of bitch slaps and spread very poor hygiene? This is the true experience of Warmonger. If you like a character that can spam light attacks, has fast variably timed bashes and very powerful offense tools, then I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this isn't a video on Warden. Bruh. No sir, we're out here with dodge attacks that have no dodge frames, that are only slightly more useful than the entirety of Jormungandr's kit. We're also out here with no in-chain unblockables or undodgeables, but we do get super late hyper armor though, so there's that I guess. But that's the price we pay when we want to play a mighty fine knight, that we also want to give all our worldly possessions to. But it's totally worth it, because god damn. Anyway, onto Warmonger's kit. She has lights, she has heavies, lights are enhanced, but they'll always get parried anyway, so nothing special. Warmonger's main offense tool is her claw scratches, with her constantly failing to achieve her dreams of being an edgy cat girl, though I bet some of you out there are totally into that. This scratch lets you do some damage through the power of bitch slap, and a light attack that can ledge for some reason. And you can charge the scratch into a dab to do even more damage through the power of cringe. Bruh. You can also perform a super bitch slap when you parry someone and impale them into a wall, as you glare off to Lawbringer to make him very jealous. Bruh. And you know, it blows my mind that she hasn't broken any of her fingers with these claws, since they would be easier to get stuck in armor than a horny weeb's hand getting stuck inside a fucking android girl. I guess that explains why she's mastered one-handed swordplay. Wait. Don't take that out of context. You will see this move spammed a lot because it's really good giving you infinite frame advantage. Not that you guys have any idea of what that means. But you'll be able to beat every dumbass in duels who thinks it's still a good idea to light spam in 2022. And this move still has stamina paws, despite the devs trying to remove all of them from the game. But they still think it's a good idea to introduce new characters to have stamina paws in their movesets. It's genius, I tell ya. Another move you'll see spammed is Warmonger's side dodge heavy, never to actually hit anyone with it, but to constantly try and bait your opponent to parry it. These are Warmonger's feats, she doesn't have any other ones, don't even try to run other feats, if you do, you are trolling and I'll report you to the FTC for scamming me out of my free breach win. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. These feats are simple, tier 1 lets you attach a virus to your blade and pass it to the first person you hit, forcing that person to remember what social distancing is for a very painful 10 seconds, whilst you casually laugh at the fact that you just committed a war crime. But it's corruption and not bioweaponry. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Whatever lets you sleep at night. Tier 2 lets you heal from your opponent's suffering like a sadistic vampire. Tier 3 makes your bioweaponry more lethal, because why not? And tier 4 lets you skip the step of putting the virus on your blade, and instead just letting the bag drop and infect everyone at once, because why put any effort into killing people? These feats will turn you from a duelist hero into a duelist hero that can actually duel in a 4v4 situation. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay over there, Nusha. I... I guess not. All in all, Warmonger is able to harness the power of war crimes and bitch slaps to beat your opponents, all whilst looking like a total badass in completely impractical armor with an even more impractical fighting style. Time to make those sheep suffer. <laughs>